Welcome to the Daily Word for the Feast of Presentation of Christ. Today's reading is from the Book of Malachi, chapter three, verses one to four. See, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to His temple, the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Indeed, He is coming. Says the Lord of hosts, but who can endure the day of His coming, and who can stand when He appears? For He is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver, and He will purify the descendants of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver. Until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness, then the offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. This is the word of the Lord. Life as a living sacrifice. The book of Malachi. Is also the last book of the Old Testament. Malachi, the messenger of God, proclaimed to Israelites God's reproof and promise in the form of dialogue. In Malachi's time, the new temple in Jerusalem had been completed for nearly hundred years, but after the return to Israel, Israelite began to lose faith in God. Due to the poor harvest of crops, social injustice, and longevity under foreign rule, they thought God had forsaken them and no longer take care of them. Yet Malachi's faith in God remained steadfast, and became a great driving force to propel Israelites to receive the overflowing blessing poured down from the windows of heaven. In the book of Malachi, chapter three, verse one, the Lord said, "He will send his messenger to prepare the way before him." These words were fulfilled by John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ, the messenger of the covenant that Israelites had been looking for, refers to Christ, the Messiah, whom Israelites sought, would suddenly come to the temple. And execute judgment. No one knew when he would come, but on the day he comes, no one can endure, no one can stand when he appears, for he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. Today is the feast of presentation of Christ. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter two. It recorded Jesus' parents Joseph and Mary that when the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord: Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord. A pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. To offer sacrifice with animals is to remember the Lord saved Israelites firstborn in the ten plagues when they exiled from Egypt. In Exodus chapter thirteen, verse one to two, the Lord said to Moses, "Consecrate to me all the firstborn, whatever is the first." To open the womb among the Israelites, of human beings and animals is mine. Therefore, presentation in the temple marks Jesus is consecrated, belongs to God. As the angel told Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Jesus Christ fully revealed a life of consecrated, 
belongs to God. From the beginning of this year, we are suffering from the Omicron variant. As Omicron spreads even faster, many people are living under stress. Scheduled activities and classes were suddenly suspended. Some industries are even forced to hold operation. In hard times, we may easily lose faith, like Israelites in the past, thinking that God had abandoned us and no longer looks after us. But in fact, God never forsakes His people. We should follow the example of Prophet Malachi and strengthen our faith, knowing that Jesus Christ. Will come again suddenly. How can we equip ourselves to become a refiner and purifier of silver? In the book of Romans, chapter twelve, Paul said, "I appeal to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God." Which is your spiritual worship? Paul pointed out, Christians' new life is a living sacrifice and a consecrated life. In response to God's redeeming love, we should present ourselves as a living sacrifice. Let Christ be our Lord, and let us practice God's teachings in our daily life. Then others will see Jesus in us. And they will be moved and transformed. This is known as witness. Let us be living sacrifices, like the lyrics of the famous hymn, "Here I am, Lord." We can respond, "Here I am, Lord." Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. Let us have a time of reflection. Have you felt weak in faith during difficult times? How can you restore faith? How do you respond to God's love by being a living sacrifice? Let us pray. Loving God, have mercy on our weakness, and help us to remember Your redeeming love. Restore our spirit. To give our hearts to you, free us from troubles of sorrow, so your servants can continue to enjoy physical and spiritual health, live by your word, and rejoice in you. Amen.